it's not just the speed of the supercomputers that's important, it's also their physical location. The closer they are to the stock exchange's server, the quicker they'll be able to get critical market information. This is one of the pods? This is one of the pods. This is the nerve center. It's called co-location, a service that high-frequency traders will pay tens of thousands of dollars a month for and includes access to raw data from the exchange that is almost instantaneous. You know, we're getting down to, you know, how fast can the electrons travel at this point. They can predict the price of a stock before you can because of the speed that they're using. So they actually see the trades before you do? They can see order flow coming into the exchanges before a regular person off of, say, a Bloomberg or somebody who doesn't have the co-location, the data feeds, and all the other sophisticated technology that they employ, which is not cheap, by the way. It's extremely expensive to set these things up. How much faster do they see it? It could be a few milliseconds. How much of an advantage is a couple of milliseconds? Millions, if not billions of dollars a year. Larry Leibowitz of the New York Stock Exchange says there is absolutely no evidence that small investors are being hurt by high-frequency trading. Most of them, he says, don't care about pennies when they're buying and selling stocks, and they're in it for the longer haul. Leibowitz and other proponents of high-frequency, high-speed computer trading say it's performed a valuable function, tripling volume, reducing stock spreads and transaction costs, and providing liquidity to the markets. Liquidity means that if you want to buy or sell a stock, uh, you could do it right away and you could do it at a fair price. That's what liquidity means.